Guys, I wanted to get started with, it is National Podcast Day. We've been running ads on the show here uh, for the last several weeks. Um, so I wanted to, that, that's my awesome thing. There's a National Podcast Day. We talked to uh, one of the guys responsible for that uh, a couple of weeks ago. You can go on our, our YouTube and check out that interview by itself at uh, youtube.com slash an awesome cast, um, of course. Uh, so I guess, you know, for National Podcast Day, uh, you know, it's a big kind of awareness thing. Say, hey, podcasting's here. Uh, uh, you know, show it to new people. You know, let other people know other podcasts. Um, so what are you guys listening to, <laughs> first of all, other than this great network here, of course? Um, I, I, I You guys all frequent podcasts in some shape or form, right? Uh, Cindy, how about you? Let's start with you. I, I, I keep forgetting. Like, it's hard when I remember I have like three people going on. On, on hangouts sometimes uh but, but city how about you i um i i listen to podcasts um it kind of depends on what the set, set situation is so i'm kind of off and on with them but the ones that i pay attention to most are um the script notes podcast by john august john august is a screenwriter as you might guess from the name script notes and he's based out in la um and then, he, and so he does a, a podcast with a fellow named Craig Mazin, and they're both um, not only um, sort of famous; they've written many famous movies, and um, and, and John August name. Anyway, so they they do have done a lot of stuff, but they also know a lot about sort of the unions and the business of um, of of Hollywood. And so it's just a fascinating podcast, and they do things like they'll break down the entire screenplay um, of Groundhog Day, for example. Nice, so nice. Was a really good one. Is it is so this the one here? Uh, script, script Doctor Eric, is that right? Um, no, uh, Script Notes is the name of it. Oh, Script podcast. Notes. I'm sorry. Um, and it's johnaugustcom slash podcast. Oh, okay. So they're 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 pretty awesome, and they're just sort of interesting. And they also do a nice transcript every week. So if you for some reason can't listen, you can go back and read and scan. It. <laughs> nice, awesome. What, what about you? Uh, what about you, Mike? I, I, there are a bunch. I, I, as I kind of consider this, I realize that I'm, I'm kind of heavy on, on sports guys, but um, but it's it's a it's a fun thing to be able to to, to get caught up when I when I have the time. Uh, a new one for me is called Men in Blazers. Um, it's it's not a new podcast. These are two English guys who have worked uh, in television in the United States for a long time. They talk. They they have a very very. Uh, uh, they have a lot of stupid fun with um, uh, with soccer around the world. Uh, they're they're heavy into the uh, English Premier League right now. But um, as, as someone who's just uh, kind of pays attention to that stuff, it's, it's very uh, it's a very entertaining podcast to get into. Um, a long time one for me is the Tony Kornheiser show. Uh, it's not done exclusively as a podcast, but it's a it's a uh, recording of radio show local radio show that he does in Washington D.C. every day. Um, uh, so it, it's it's a it's ostensibly a, start, a sports show, but he gets into a lot of politics, gets into a, a lot of pop culture stuff. Um, it's a lot of fun uh, to uh, to do. So those those are um, uh, those are pretty representative. I also I also like uh, NPR's All Songs Considered. It sort of forces me out of my my comfort zone and, and uh, gets me to listen. Awesome, awesome. Uh, what about you, Chilla? So I the- pretty much hang out on the tech side of things. Can you hear me? I yeah. Yeah, we got you. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, mainly on the tech side of things, so I'm listening to Windows Weekly, Mac Break Weekly, Nerdist, and the one that I picked up that they don't update all that often, but AFP 548, which AFP548.com, um, AFP is the old Apple filing protocol. Um, it's a bunch of Apple administrators from all around everywhere. Um, pretty much giving helpful hints to enterprises, companies, schools on pretty much how to deploy Max at scale rather than just running around and sneaker netting files and then clicking everything. It's more of an automated fashion, which I've taken a liking to a lot of the information coming out of that, especially for work, um, as we start to deploy more Max. So that's that's one that I've been picking up. but. Unfortunately, it's like once a month, once every other. Um, but they do they do have a lot of blogs and stuff on their site as well, so I tap into that. I try to get into some gaming podcasts. Um, I I don't know. I just couldn't. I need. I feel like I need to be in front of the computer so I can look stuff up and kind of keep up with what they're talking about or, or look for more information on a topic. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, it's interesting. I, uh, for me, um, I I'm really big on uh, you know like you the Tota TV ones like like Mac Break. Uh, I actually started cycling the in the Windows Weekly and an- all about Android a little bit more because I want to be a little more kind of platform agnostic mm-hmm. with them. Um, especially since uh, how many operating systems are in front of me right now, for instance. Um, so I, I want to know what's going on, especially as, as some of these production machines are probably going to have to uh, keep rolling with Windows and whatever. I, I didn't even check in on the announcement today, to be honest. <laughs> uh, whoops. Um, but uh, between that, the 5x5, five five, I like the back to work with Merlin Mann. I like the Roderick on the line. Um, I like what Tom Mayer's been doing since he's departed from Twit. Uh, I follow uh, Cord Killers and uh, Daily Tech News Show. That's kind of replaced this weekend, or I'm sorry, uh, Tech News Today for me. Um, those are the big ones. Triangulation, I love. It's a great uh, uh, interview podcast. They're doing a twit. Just slashed on to Pac- Mac Power users. Um, I, I got a list, guys. <laughs> you should see my Stitcher. <laughs> um, does this hold up? Is actually a Pittsburgh local one um, where they look at old movies and say, does this hold up? It's kind of, uh, it's very similar to um, how does this get made by a lot of those guys that were on uh, the league. Um, Tenement podcasts have been turned on to. Um, the Ted radio hour from NPR, uh, the Smodcast stuff, especially I've kind of, uh, fell out of, uh, Smodcast and, uh, Jay and Silent Bob get old, but Batman on Batman. Ooh, they got a new one. They haven't been regularly updating lately, but they've had like inter- these interviews with like Neil Adams and all these comic creators are just tremendous. Um, a really good listen for that. And a lot of times like voice actors and show creators for like the Batman series or just like people that like, were influenced by Batman sometimes in interesting ways. Um, really good conversational podcast. Uh, wrestling wise, and we'll talk about this a little bit more on the Wrestling Man Show. Um, Cole Cabana's Art of Wrestling, like a really good conversation with people that are like a lot of times in indie wrestling. Um, you know, kind of that idea of being independent. You know, and I like anything where anybody's being independent. You know, um, one problem I come into is, uh, and this is another point of discussion. I think. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.